welcome to the Performance Kitchen and today I'm delighted to say we've got joining us USA International and London Broncos Rugby League player Mark Offerdahl. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. No worries. Right, okay, so what are you going to be cooking for us um, today? We're making a sweet potato hash. Right, sweet potato hash, what is that? Sweet potato hash, basically I have it for breakfast on game days. I have it most, breakfast most days, it's pretty okay. easy to make. Um, it's just cubed sweet potato, fried in some coconut oil, add any veggies you want with some egg on top. It sort of ends up looking like a quiche. Nice, right. so it's a bit of one of those that you can just use everything you've got in your you fridge, can, really? Yeah, if, you, if it goes together and it tastes good, yeah. Yeah. Cool, okay, let's get started. Get so, started. so what the we're main do thing, first? Yeah, we'll chop these up first because they do take a little bit longer to cook. So, yeah. Okay, do you want me to? Yeah. yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Nice Make and, myself nice useful. Small cubes. Okay, right. So, I suppose having small cubes, it's going to cook quicker because sometimes. A little bit quicker, yeah. Sweet potato can take ages, it can. can't it? Right, okay, so, right. See if we can aim this into yeah. the pan. Yeah, so. Yep. Oh. Chop your fingers yeah, off. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Looking good. Okay. We'll let that heat up, and we're going to try. We'll try to cover it a little bit to let it steam, so it cooks quicker. Okay. In the meantime, we'll start prepping the veg. Okay, great. Basically, that would take the stems off these, I'd say. Strip them okay, down. so this is kale? Kale. Yeah. Nice little and, um, kale. What's so great about kale? Just a leafy green. It's really nutrient dense. Mm -hmm. um, as we said, it's good for information, energy, everything, basically. Yeah. Same as the spinach over there. So what are we going to be putting in next now that the taste of the Capsicum peppers, as you call them over here. What them do you in. call them? Capsicum. Capsicum. Capsicum, yeah. So, yeah, but peppers, we'll call them peppers. Right, okay. So what, is that Aussie that or? That's, I think, yeah, Australian. Yeah, I'm gonna say every day. I, I don't think I can pronounce it though. Capsicum. Capsicum, yeah. Capsicum. Yeah. So um, they, they take a bit longer to cook than the spinach and that, so we'll chop them in. Yeah. And we'll get some salt and pepper. Mm. Nice, okay. We're just gonna chuck some butter in here just to help it keep cooking and. Right, okay. It tastes bloody good. So this is organic butter. Um, nice. It's good fats. Yeah. You can't get enough good fats. Basically, fat doesn't make you fat. So we remember. Because that's that. a myth, isn't it? It's a myth. Fat doesn't make you fat. It actually helps speed up your metabolism and burn fat. How many eggs are we gonna do? Uh, we'll, we'll get put them all in. Put them all in. Leave the crew. It's, wow. It's a lot of eggs. Yeah. Would this just be for you then? I'd normally go yeah, six or eight eggs. Yeah. Wow. Six or eight eggs and every I'll day. Put myself into a bit of a food coma, but no sleep. Uh, we'll keep that to the side for a little yeah, bit. And we'll I'm start kidding. chopping up that biltong, if possible. Right. Okay. So biltong. Um, yeah. Talk me through what what actually is it? It's dried. It's it's like jerky, but it's a lot softer. So it's it's not dried under extreme heat. It's cured um, in a in a cool, dry place, and it's a lot easier to eat. It's a lot lot um. Yeah, less chewy, I guess you'd say. Yeah, because it is quite soft, actually, isn't it? Like, I can use this knife. Mm. So how would you normally cut this, then? Just just dice it nice and small. Yeah? Oh, it's quite hard to cut. Yeah, that knife isn't really strong. I've got that new other go. Bigger muscles than me. Yeah, it might just be the knife. All right, so what I normally do is I make a little pool in the middle. OK. And we'll pour the eggs in there. Brilliant. So a little pool in the middle. Let them cook a little Get bit. Get rid of that one. Ready for us to pour this in? Yep. Yeah? A little bit of pressure now. There we go. Oh, looks great. Mm. The colours are really nice as well. The yeah. greens and the reds and yeah. the oranges. Is, you do sort of eat with your eyes, don't you? Yeah. Cool, okay, right, ready to go? Ready to go. It looks good. So we just flipped it while it was cooking and okay. sort of yeah, yes. tried to make it a little bit of a frittata. Colours look really good. Mm. This is right on my street, this is. Perfect, thank you very much. That's great. Cool, right, should we dig in? Let's dig in. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, a bit of kale, oh, I've got a big bit of kale here. Okay. Mmm. That's really tasty, isn't it? 
I want to try a bit of the biltong. Here we go. Mmm. That's really good. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Performance Kitchen. And thank you all for watching. And um, I'm going to get more of this, I think. No worries. <laughs>